The Ultimate Predator vs. Prey Battle, Lion vs. Buffalo In the African savanna, lions and Cape buffaloes have a well-known predator-prey relationship. Lions are apex predators that hunt buffalo as their primary food source. Cape buffaloes, on the other hand, are notorious for their aggressive behavior and have been known to attack lions in order to protect their herd. Lions, the most gregarious felines on the planet, traverse the African continent's savannas and grasslands, hunting jointly and raising offspring in prides. For generations, African lions have been regarded as icons of bravery and strength. The Cape Buffalo, often known as the African Buffalo, is a deadly African bovine species notable for its huge bulk and unpredictable violent demeanor. This is why man has never tried to domesticate these creatures. They are one of the most dangerous animals to hunt on foot and one of the big five African game animals. Male lions can grow to reach 10 feet, 3 meters, along with a 2 to 3 foot, 60 to 91 centimeter, tail. They weigh between 330 and 550 pounds, 150 and 250 kilograms. Lions have strong legs, teeth, and jaws that they utilize to capture and kill prey. Adult males have yellow gold coats and shaggy manes that range in color from blonde to reddish brown to black. The length and color of a lion's mane are most likely influenced by age, heredity, and hormones. Light spotting on the coats of young lions diminishes as they age. The African buffalo is quite large, measuring 4.26 to 4.92 feet, 130 to 150 centimeters, from head to hoof and weighing 935 to 1,910 pounds, 425 to 870 kilograms. These are enormous hoofed creatures with intimidating horns on the tops of their heads. Males and females both have horns, which they use to defend themselves against African predators like lions. The subspecies differ in size and appearance. Their short fur is dark brown, black, or reddish brown. African lions are highly adaptable large cats that can live in a variety of conditions, including semi-arid desert areas and extremely dry environments such as the Kalahari Desert. To track their prey and find shade during the hottest part of the day, they favor open woods, dense bush, scrub, and grasslands. Lions, which were once prevalent on every continent, are currently exclusively found in Sub-Saharan Africa, with 80% found in Eastern or Southern Africa. Tanzania has three of the top five most populous countries. In recent decades, lions have vanished from 12 sub-Saharan African countries. Buffaloes can be found in Kruger National Park and its neighboring private game reserves, as well as Addo National Park and the Ushaka Infolozi Game Reserve. They have also been reintroduced into many provincial reserves, private game reserves, and game ranches buffaloes are carriers of foot and mouth disease and bovine tuberculosis, and as a result, they are prohibited from crossing some borders because they may infect other animals, notably cattle. All buffaloes reintroduced outside of these areas have been reared elsewhere and are disease-free. Buffaloes love broad open savanna grasslands with long grass to graze on, they are commonly seen near reeds or riverbeds and require a plentiful supply of fresh water. Food Habits Lions kill a wide variety of species, including rodents and baboons as well as cape buffaloes and hippopotamuses, but their primary prey is medium to large-sized hoofed creatures such as wildebeests, zebras, and antelopes. Geographically and amongst neighboring prides, prey preferences varies. Lions have been observed preying on elephants and giraffes in open savanna, but only when the animals are young or seriously unwell. Males frequently steal the females' kills, while lionesses do the most of the hunting. Male lions, on the other hand, are adept hunters who hunt in certain locations on a regular basis. They usually stalk their victim from adjacent cover before erupting in a brief, quick rush to bring it down. After leaping on the prey, the lion bites at its neck, 
strangling it. Despite their viciousness, other members of the pride swarm around the kill, generally vying for access. Cape buffaloes are herbivores who consume solely plants. They are grazers, which means they eat grass rather than browsers, which eat leaves and shrubs. When these animals devour their grassy diet, they regurgitate it to chew a second time, just like other bovidae family members. Chewing cud is a process that aids in the thorough digestion of grass. They normally graze for a few hours and then find a shady location to rest and chew their cud during the warmest portion of the day before returning to grazing. Lions are the most social felines in the planet. They live in prides, which are groupings of related females that can have up to 40 people, including adults, sub-adults, cubs, and one or more resident males. Within the pride, pride mates create subgroups. Females typically spend their entire lives in their mother's prides, until food scarcity causes them to leave. When young boys reach the size required to compete with dominant males, they are driven from their prides. Usually between the ages of two and four, they form alliances, usually with siblings and cousins, and look for a pride to take over. Males who form a new pride will kill any cubs who are unable to leave. Men do the most of the protective work, but both men and females mark their territories by roaring, which can be heard up to five miles distant, and sent marking with urine. Females are receptive to mates for a few days several times a year, unless they are pregnant or nursing, and mating stimulates ovulation. They have a litter every two years on average. Buffaloes often congregate in herds of medium to large size, with both male and female individuals. There are hierarchies among both males and females within these herds. However, there are also bachelor males known as dagger boys, who have reached the end of their sexual maturation and are no longer able to compete for females on their own. These bachelor males are regarded outsiders, and they tend to be more aggressive. Calves are often born around the same time during the breeding season, which occurs only during particular seasons, in locations with plentiful food and water. Herds of up to 2,000 animals have been recorded coming together. The herd is particularly group-oriented, and members will look out for one another, even if it means safeguarding blind or crippled people. Wounded buffalo will frequently seek refuge within the herd's safety, which would triumph a lion or a buffalo. Let us investigate. Cape buffaloes and lions have a natural rivalry and are sometimes seen fighting. Cape buffaloes are thought to kill more lions than any other species, yet the rivalry is not one-sided. A one-on-one -on -one encounter between a cape buffalo and a lion usually results in the lion being vanquished due to their immense size and power. A group of lions, on the other hand, can overcome a single cape buffalo by combining their strength. A lone lion may be able to take down a foal or a wounded buffalo without the assistance of the pride in some instances. When a single cape buffalo faces off against a single lion, the buffalo almost always wins. This is mostly owing to the cape buffalo's enormous size and power, which the lion just does not possess. Furthermore, the Cape Buffalo outruns the lion in terms of long-distance running. Although the lion can sprint quicker, the Cape Buffalo can outpace it over longer distances. Another aspect that makes the Cape Buffalo a difficult target for lions is the thickness and density of its ribs. Fully developed Cape Buffaloes have armor-like ribs that protect their chest and organs from the lion's keen teeth and claws. Cape Buffaloes due to their aggressive nature, would not back down without a fight. They will use their incredible power and large horns to try to fling the attacking lions or even gourd them away, ending in their demise. Cape buffaloes may fling the lion many meters in the air using their large neck, head, and horns. As a result, in a fight between a cape buffalo and a lion, the buffalo will always win if it stands its ground and does not withdraw. A lion's only chance of overpowering an adult buffalo is by biting its throat or windpipe, 
which can happen only if the buffalo is knocked off its feet. A fully grown buffalo, on the other hand, is nearly impossible for a lion to knock down due to its tremendous weight. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. Farewell until next time.